In our morning rounds, the serious consequences of snoring. A new study in the journal Neurology finds breathing problems like heavy snoring or sleep apnea could be linked to early memory loss, even Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Carol Ash is director of sleep medicine at Meridian Healthcare. Good morning. Good morning. So this link is not new, but it's this one is really specific. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, this study might be keeping some people up at night because what they did was they looked at 2,500 adults, average age of 73 or older, and they broke them down into three categories normal those with mild cognitive impairment and those with early Alzheimer's and they found that those with self-reported issues with snoring or suggestion of breathing problems in their sleep had decline in their their memory or their cognitive function 10 years earlier so that's significant and you know this it's we're not saying that snoring leads to dementia this we didn't see a cause and effect but this is go, leading to a growing body of evidence that links sleep to brain health so I suppose you have one of those problems. What do you do? Well, you know, there are some simple treatments. I mean, snoring, we used to think it's benign. Even snoring is, can be associated with an increased risk of stroke and, and thickening of the artery in the neck. And so when you have symptoms of snoring or symptoms that suggest you have sleep disorder breathing, you really want to take it seriously. There are simple screening that can be done to identify somebody that has a problem. There's home sleep tests to make the diagnosis, and then there's treatment options. So actually, I brought one of the treatment options. This is a CPAP mask. It would hold your airway open at night so it won't collapse. But there's some less invasive treatments too, weight loss, dental appliances, surgery. And this is common. 18 million Americans are affected with this. 85% of them have yet to be diagnosed. You know, there are many people watching this who are saying, my spouse snores all <laughs> yeah. night, you know? <laughs> are they gonna have memory problems or have an increased likelihood of Alzheimer's? You know, I, I am such a big advocate of if you snore, please reach out. Charlie and I had a discussion about it. You know, I also do critical care. Nothing is more horrible for me than having yeah. a person show up with a stroke or heart attack that could have been prevented by simple measures, and this is one of them. I mean, Why? Because snoring is a sign that... Snoring, your, as your airway starts to narrow, you'll get turbulent airflow, so it's a sign of sleep apnea. So in sleep apnea, we know it can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and now, as we're suggesting, decline And, and my memory. question to her was whether you could reverse the yes. effects mm -hmm. uh, if you detect it that you do have sleep apnea or snoring suggests something else. Can you correct it and therefore lessen yes. uh, the damage and to... And you can, You right? can. Sometimes you can't undo some of the damage. I've seen significant improvements, so it's worth looking into. This seems very intense, though. I think a lot of people see this mask <laughs> and they think, I don't, I don't want to sleep in that. I'll tell you, though, I, when, when you have a patient who truly has this problem, it can change and save their life. And you have to coax them through and get them comfortable, but once they're using it, they won't go back. Because many of them are going through the day very tired, and this means right. they're getting rest, and therefore their day is completely different. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Dr. Yeah. Carol Ash, thank you. Always good to see you.